Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are going to be driving from just as you passed Great River in the parish of St. James and we are heading into Montego Bay, also in the parish of St. James. Sit back, relax and drive with me. Now, as we are about to start recording, we saw this bulletin. It was from the Office of the Utilities Regulation and it said the OUR they regulate utility in Jamaica so the JPS Water Commission and other utility companies they would apply to the OUR for a rate increase the OUR they would do their due diligence and at the end of it they either grant an increase or they refuse the application so in June 2021 they applied for an average of 3.5 percent on monthly bills the OUR they had reviewed the application and yesterday Tuesday September 14th 2021 they granted the JPS a 1.4 percent increase now I don't know how the bills are calculated but say for example you are paying ten thousand dollars per month is it that your bill will be increased by $140 because $140 is 1.4% of $10,000 I am sure that is not so so I would have loved somebody to come in the comment section and explain how this rate increase will be applied or when I get the time tomorrow I'll check and see if I can get some answers but the JPS they are saying that the dollar is sliding the cost of fuel is going up as a result they had to apply for an increase the OUR the regulators they reviewed it and has granted them an increase so this is another burden on the box of the poor despite all that is happening this will be another burden so the Montego Bay police they recovered an illegal firearm at King Street Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Our information is that about some minutes after 1 p.m. Monday, September 13th, 2021, the Montego Bay Police, they carried out an operation at a premises at King Street. Our information is that one 608 revolver with eight rounds of .38 cartridges were seized by the police. No one was arrested in connection with this find the Montego Bay police they are investigating and once again congrats to the Montego Bay police for the recovery of this weapon in the next story no this one it took place at a place named Salmon Point Salmon Point is in the Little London police area in the parish of Westmoreland our information is that on Sunday September 12th, 2021, some minutes after 8 o'clock in the morning, three fishermen, they were fishing out at sea off the coast of Salmon Point. They had gone to do deep sea fishing. These fishermen, they would have dropped some fish pots. So they dive, go down, find the fish pots, take them up, and when they are up, they take out the fish, then drop back the fish pot again. So, these three fishermen they had gone to sea to retrieve some fish pots one of the fishermen you are seeing him on your screen his name is mr irvin distin he's 37 years old and he lives at a place named old hope in little london in the parish of westmoreland we are told that all three fishermen they went underwater the other two fishermen they came back up to the top with fish pots they waited they waited they waited until about 15 minutes passed Irving he did not come back up to the top of the water as a result the two fishermen one of them 50 years old and the other one he's in his 30s both of them made an alarm and they were assisted by other fishermen they went underwater in search of Mr. Distin. Some moments later, 
they found his body. As a result, he was taken up to the top of the water. Taken to shore, we are told that the police they were called. The police, they checked, no marks of violence was seen and Mr. Distin, it is suspected that he drowned underwater. But like we tell you, he has to be pronounced by a medical personnel. So Mr. Distin, Irving Distin, age 37 years old, he was taken to the Savlamar hospital where he was so pronounced. The Little London police, we are told, they are carrying out investigation. Mr. Irving Distin, a post-mortem will be done on his body to finally ascertain what caused his death. But for so far, the police, they are saying that no foul play is suspected. May Mr. Distin's soul find rest. Now, later on today, we are going to be uploading another video. That video will be an interview with Mr. Rayon Cunningham. Mr. Cunningham, he is the husband of Nurse Davis Cunningham. Nurse Davis Cunningham, she had contracted COVID-19. As a result, she died in the Cornwall Regional Hospital. We are going to be having an exclusive interview with Mr. Cunningham. You'll want to stick around for that interview. We are going to upload it about 11 or 12 o'clock today. It will be very, very interesting. Now, if you are here and you are watching our videos, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, we are moving on to 34,000 subscribers. The channel is growing. Grow with us and be a part of that 34K. If you have not yet hit on the like button, go ahead, hit on it. You liking our videos, it helps YouTube to advertise our videos when other persons are watching similar videos. So say for example, somebody go over to Politrix Watch. They are not a subscriber, but they are watching certain stories that Politrix Watch or Andy Spot News Media might carry. Our video might be showing up in the up next. That is why we always tell you, smash the like button so that other persons might hear the stories that we are bringing. That is all we are asking of you. Now, in the final story for today, on Monday, September 13th, 2021, some minutes to 9 p.m., we were on the road in another capacity. We were traveling along the Bay Road main road, leaving Little London on way to Savlamar, when we reached a spot named Highway, that is on the Bay Road main road. We observed that there was a crowd, so we stopped, made checks. When we checked, we saw that a Toyota Noah was turned over. The driver for the bus, someone who we know very well, he was inside of it. The bus was turned over on him. We made checks and we noticed that there is nothing we could do to save him. Based on the condition that we saw him in, he had already died. Based on our experience, we are not doctors to pronounce people so, but the condition we saw him in and the looks of his head, I won't be too graphic, but the looks of his head, we know that he had already gone. So, it took place Monday night, like we said, September 13th, 2021. The information we are gathering so far, or the information we had gathered on the scene, is that Mr. Albert Thompson, he's popularly known as Youngest, from Mr. Thompson had been an adult, he has been a taxi driver. He lives at George's Plain in the parish of Westmoreland. He usually plied the route Savlamar to Grange Hill. So, Mr. Thompson, he was driving a white Toyota Noah. License number PL4472. And if you notice, we are showing you some footage. Because we were on the scene when the fire personnel and the police came on the scene. Youngest, he was driving this Toyota Noah. Our information is that heavy rain fell that evening. As a result, a pool of water was in the left lane. The left lane on the side of the road where Youngest would be driving from Sav 
to Little London. So, Youngis, he was about to negotiate a left-hand corner and from all indication, he was not driving slow. It is suspected that he was going very fast. So he drove into the pool of water. Lost control of the vehicle. As a result, the vehicle swerved to the right side of the road and overturned. And that was it for Youngest. It is suspected, like we said, that he died on the spot. The fire brigade, they arrived on the scene and managed to get Youngest out of the vehicle. He was taken to the Savlamar Hospital where he was pronounced, you know what, by the doctor on duty. We know Youngest for ages. We'd like to take time out to extend our deepest condolences to his family and friends. May his soul find rest. Blessed love everybody.